Hello everyone. My name is Kathy and I'm asking you to come into my garden. This garden is inside of every last one of us. And this garden will take you into unknown places. And the unknown places are to find unconditional love. And unconditional love is the sacred love of yourself. So when you go into those places, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to go into these wounds that you have. Childhood traumas, abuse, neglect, hurts, pains, different things like that. So are you willing to go into your garden and heal you everywhere you hurt? God gifted me with so many gifts. I'm an artist and I get like snippets of heaven in my paintings where you can literally see angels ascending and descending. You can see your ancestors and even people that you know daily. You can see those things in, in the paintings that I do. That's one of my gifts. Another gift is um, God gives me prayers and poems. I speak to God like I'm speaking to you and me right now. And these prayers uplift us. These prayers and poems allow us to know that God is here inside of us. We don't have to look for it far to find God because he's not just a pie in the sky. He's here right now walking amongst us on this earth. And I'm a light worker. So he tells me to shine my light every day on different people, even the people that hate you. He said, shine your light and bless those who curse you. So that's what I've been doing. But I never said it was easy. I never said the journey was going to be easy. But if you want to heal the wounds, the hurts, and you masking things to try to cover things up to, to save other people, but other people aren't trying to save you. Can you imagine being in a place where you thought that people loved you and then all of a sudden, you know, you come out with the truth and then your truth become a lie and their lies become truths. And that's not healing anything for no one. But I had to learn through the hatred that other people gave me and through the jealousies and the, and the, they're thinking that someone is favoring me over everyone else. Through all that, I learned that they never loved me in the first place. They only gave me crumbs, just crumbs. And these crumbs weren't enough. I thought they were. I was codependent on the crumbs that they were giving me until all this stuff came out and I learned that they didn't even like me. So that made me go within myself to find out what true love really meant and what it is. And when I went into the hurts, because hurt and hurt makes love. So when I went into those hurts, that's when I found the sacred love of myself. That's when God took me back into the woods and, and made me connect to nature, made me connect to everything, every bird, every ant, every butterfly, the wind, the way the rain drops upon the trees. He showed me all that. 
And he told me everything is connected. Everything. And these things are all connected because we're all connected. So he told me that he was giving me an angelic processing. I never heard of that before in all my life. But now I know exactly what it was. That angelic processing was our Father in heaven taking me into me, the garden inside of me, those hurts, those wounds. He told me to come into my garden. He said to call upon the Lord of hosts because he is the defender in battles, the battles of my mind, he said. So I'm going to give you a vision that he gave to me. And in this vision, God told me, he said, come into your garden. And I want you to surrender every hurt, every pain, every abuse, every forgive, unforgiveness, every hurt, pain, names that people called you, everything. I want you to surrender it and lay it at your feet. And when I did that, it was nothing but white flowers laying at my feet. And those white flowers were problems. The pains, the hurts, the abuses, whatever it was. Mental abuse, physical abuse, whatever. Sexual, whatever it was. These were things that I had to lay at my feet. And when I laid them at my feet, then that's when I was standing. This is a vision that I had that God gave me. I was standing there in nothing but my naked skin after I surrendered everything, those white flowers, those pains, the hurts. Okay, you got it? So then, once I'm standing there in this in nakedness, then I look up to my right and I can see the hand of God with this huge pitcher of honey, golden honey. And he, his hand tilted and poured the, the honey on my naked skin. And when it was poured on my naked skin, I felt like a newborn baby. And this, as the honey was poured down on my naked skin, then it poured into the mouth of the flowers, the white flowers, which was my pains and my hurts. And when it poured into the mouth of those flowers, that's when they all disappeared. So then, this is still the vision. So then I looked to my left, and as I looked to my left, I could see this golden white light coming down from heaven, but they had wings attached to it. Angel wings. So I'm standing there in nakedness. And all of a sudden, these wings that came within this white, golden white light came and wrapped around me. And all I could feel was happiness, love, peace, and joy and healing. So as these wings were wrapped around me, they began to open up. And when they opened up, I seen they were mine. Those were my wings. And I started trying to figure out how to use them. And God himself told me, he said, I want you to fly. I want you to soar above your garden. And as I was flying and soaring above my garden, I became a bald eagle. And this eagle, I was soaring above my garden. And as I soared above my garden, I had three chains wrapped around my neck, 
But these chains, they were thick chains. And they had locks on them. Three locks on every chain. Three of them. So as I soared as this bald eagle, all of a sudden, the chains fell off my neck and dropped into the garden and turned into snakes. Now see, it's, it wasn't scary because I was an eagle. And this eagle, the talents can rip snakes apart, okay? So then, all of a sudden, I could hear God say, come back into my garden. Come back in to your garden. So when I came back into my garden, it wasn't my garden anymore. I was standing in front of this lady, an Indian maiden. She was so beautiful. And she told me, she said, you are me and I am you. And I am giving you a gift. And the gift is the sacred love of self. So she presented that to me. And when she presented that to me, then God started doing the processing and he would take me back in the woods so that I could get to know him personally. And this was the, the best time that I had to be able to understand who God really is. He loves us right where we're at. He loves us in our brokenness. I mean, some of us are so broken. I was. I was so broken. But I'm no longer broken anymore. I know who I am. I know my worth. I know that I can do anything I put my mind to because he goes before me. Our Father in heaven shines a light before us. So why should we be afraid to do what he's asking us to do? So when he asked me to do something, I do it. He asked me to start this web, this YouTube. I was a little fearful, but you know what? He said, your tribe is already here. They already, they're waiting for you to come. And my tribe is... I'm going to call you guys my little hummingbird, my little hummingbirds, because that's how my journey started. My journey started because I'm a twin flame, too. So my journey started with my twin. You know, we're not together right now, but we talk to each other telepathically. He comes to me in my dreams. He, he, I can hear him, you know, calling his name or whatever. I see him sometimes just in my mind, I can see him. And he literally made me, by me loving him, he made me learn to love myself unconditionally. But I think I was holding on to him you know, because I thought that that's what love was all about. But then he pushed me to love me. Every time, God said, every time you think about him, you need to think about me, yourself. Think about yourself. And when you think about yourself, then you're actually getting pieces of you put back together again in your brokenness. So now I am my feminine and masculine me. I'm whole. I don't need another person on earth to make me feel worthy, to make me feel loved, because everything that I ever need and want is inside of me. And that's the same with you guys, my audience. It's the same thing. We have to remember who we are. We have to remember that we are light and love. 
God gave me this to say every single day. The day is full in God's light and love. And nothing can take that away but God. I'm going to tell you guys, this is going to be such a journey. We're going to see some amazing things happening. I don't even know what God has in store for my little hummingbirds. But I know this is going to be real. It's going to be authentic. It's going to be true. And I am so blessed that I am doing this and we're going to all do this together. Healing our childhood wounds. So I thank you guys so much for listening. And every day I'm going to try to bring you guys a positive spin on life where we don't have to fear anything because fear is nothing but fear itself. That's it for now. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.